Hey, what's going on guys? It's your man Chris here from Fresh Men's Salon. We're back with another haircut tutorial. Now today we're going to be doing a skin mohawk on my man Tyrone here. And we're going to line up the beard and just fix up the top a bit. Alright, so we're going to start this cut off by using our wall cordless senior with our number 2 guard going with the grain. Now we're going to go ahead and take off our number 2 guard and I'm going to be going against the grain with the half guard and this is going to be our initial guideline and now we're going with the point one, and we're doing the same type of thing just slightly lower so now we got about an inch from the bottom and now we're going to transition that point one to the point five for our initial blend now you can play with the lever just a little bit depending on how you feel like in terms of taking off bulk uh, I like to go kind of according to how the hair texture is and definitely where the hair is in terms of the skull like the, the flat portion is a little easier when you come into the back you kind of got to go sideways because of how the hair structure is and how the hair length um, contours to the hair all right so we got a number one guard closed and we're going against the grain again and I'm kind of cutting under it just a little bit I'm just trying to smoothen out this fade and the blend so we're blending in the number the 0.5 to the number one now I took off the number one guard and I'm freehanding you always want to freehand with just the blade alone at its lowest position I find it gets the majority of the bulk the cleanest so we're just going with the hair contour now this could be dangerous so you gotta really make sure that the client is staying still and you have a good understanding of how the head structure is we're not only following the fade we're also doing a little bit off the top I picked it out already and it is ready to go so we're just taking off the loose ends at the top we're not trying to take off any bulk now we're going ahead with our Andis cordless T outliner once again and we're doing our, our outlining here the back I decided to do something a little different you know I could have did round or I could do square or tapered it out but we did a kind of a V type shape just to go with our style As you can see, I have the comb and I'm cutting it with that T-liner. That's just to debulk some of the stuff. I do that so that it makes it, it gives it a crisper line. You're gonna see I'm gonna do it here again with my, my client's temple. Boom, right there. So what I do is I, I hold the comb and I just, I shave the hairs down. I would do the same with the mustache and sometimes the front of the hair. That's instead of using a number one guard to pull it out, I just use the comb and do that a little quickly, just a little quick technique. When I do my outlines, I hit the line. I usually start from the front. I hit the line and I pull away and I just keep doing the same, the same thing from one end to the other, one corner to the next. For the beard, as you can see, instead of pulling away I'm pushing towards now this for me it helps for the initial cut and then as you can see uh, there's a various amount of techniques I'm using it the, the nose or, um, or the heel of the blade as well here's that comb technique again this is just to, to cut out the loose ends I'm pushing towards the hair and then pulling back Pushing towards, pulling away. Don't be afraid to cut the nose hairs of the client. That's, that's something that we just, we just don't discuss. You don't ask them, I just do it. My, one of my pet peeves is to have my client's nose hairs hanging out, so I just, I just automatically just cut them out. back to a little bit of the detail work so 
Sometimes when you let the hair sit, you take a step back and you see what the work looks like. There's some things that you like to, to just readjust. And this is what we're doing here in this, in this caption. So I'm going with the hair, with the grain. So I'm going with the grain with the number one, then I'm going against the grain. It's just different techniques depending on how the hair is sitting. I'll tell you a little bit about Tyrone. Tyrone is a good uh, client of mine. He's been cutting with me since he was probably around 12, 13 years old, back in the hood. And um, we have mutual friends. He's, uh, he went to school with my cousin, and we, I've grown to know him. So throughout the years, I've been cutting him and his brother and his, his kids and his cousins. So shout out to my boy Tyrone, long standing client. Those are hard to find, so when you get those, make sure you treat them well. Now we got the number one guard closed and we're just taking care of the beard. And the same thing with the scissors. I got this in, I think, double the speed. We're just making sure all the loose hairs are sitting flat. Same thing with the hair. As you can see, we're just doing our final touches on our client's cut. Gotta be fresh. Gotta be fresh. Gotta be fresh. Now we're gonna go in with the blade. I like to always make sure the client looks crispy so we're gonna finish it off with the blade here I'm dry shaving there's no no shave gel at all just because it's a small area I can do that So we're going to use a organic root stimulator. I'm going ahead with the olive oil. Just rub that in my client's hair. And minimize the dryness of his scalp and his hair. We're using a curl sponge right now and we're giving it that little nappy look. Uh, we could have went either way. Could have picked it out and flattened it out like a in the regular high top and pro hawk, but I decided to go with the curl sponge just to see the, the different effect. So here it is. This is Tyrone's fro hawk skin fade with uh, the beard. I hope y'all like it. If you do, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out to my boy Tyrone. The little hair is sticking out, look. Sometimes it's not even the fade, it's the way it's combed, so. See a little difference? Hope y'all like this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay fresh.